Our solar system consists of four small inner rocky worlds, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And further out, unfathomably large gas giants. Wouldn't it be interesting, if not disastrous, if Saturn started to slow in orbit and started to fall towards our inner solar system? Saturn has now crossed the orbit of Mars and is the brightest object in our night sky, even more so than the full moon. Saturn reflects 47% of the light it receives, while our moon only about 12%. Saturn is so large that even at 55 million kilometers it has a very distinct shape. Mars at this distance is nothing but a dot, but Saturn with its glorious rings almost appears as large as our moon. Not only can you make out its shape with the unaided eye, but uh, you could also make out some of Saturn's moons. The bright one is Titan. Saturn is now 1.5 million kilometers away. At this distance, it faintly lights up the dark side of the moon. Saturn's moon Titan is now passing by. Titan orbits Saturn at 1.2 million kilometers, in contrast to our moon, which orbits the Earth at an average of 385,000 kilometers. Saturn is now 1 million kilometers away. The funny dark smudge slowly moving across Saturn's face is the Earth's shadow. The penumbra and umbra are quite visible. The penumbra is the fuzzy part of the shadow. The fuzziness is due to the sun not being a perfect point source of light. The sun is round and large, and light leaks around the Earth, causing soft shadows. The umbra is the dark part of the shadow. In the special case of Saturn, the umbra is not completely black. This is because of all the reflected light bouncing off the rings and off Saturn, casting light that would normally not be there. As Saturn gets closer, the Earth's umbra will grow while the penumbra shrinks. We are now in the Roche limit of Saturn. This is the point where tidal forces would pull the Earth apart to form a new Saturnian ring system. The main ring band looks different from the backlit side. The thicker sections, which don't allow as much light through, appear darker, while the thinner sections are brighter. The E and G ring are both widely distended and sparse rings that are largely invisible, lost to the glare of Saturn, at least when viewed from the sunlit side. As Saturn eclipses the Sun, you can now make out the backlit E and G ring. Saturn's path may have appeared slightly curved as it went by the Earth, but unfortunately it's our orbit that's been irrecoverably altered by this encounter. Hi, my name is Nick, and this is Boris. And I'd like to give a very special thank you to Michael Stevens of Vsauce, without whom I would not be working nearly so hard. Thank you, Michael. Thanks.